What's going on? This is EJ Uno. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm back again. You know what I'm saying? Never know what I'm gonna do next, but I know what I'm gonna do next because I'm the person who bring you the entertainment. So you know what I'm saying? So here, I haven't done a storytelling in a while. And I was thinking to myself, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what's some stuff I haven't talked about? Um. A lot of people look at me like I'm a, what is it, like, like I'm a player or something like that, I guess. But I ain't no player, you know what I'm saying? I just crush a lot. No, I'm playing. But no, I'm not a, I'm not a player. But you know what I'm saying? But it, it, it had me thinking today. I was like, you know what? I remember for a long time, you know what I'm saying? I guess, like, I'm dating somebody right now, but, um, but we not together, but, uh, yeah, I know. I was in my video, Karen. You know what I'm saying? But, and then, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, we, we, it's complicated. You know what I'm saying? I'm 37. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like these young kids on, on, um, YouTube, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I, I gotta admit, I see a lot of them getting used to being single. You know, that's the way to be. I mean, if you're young, be single. It's kind of like when you get older, like, 30, like I'm 37 and you get older. You know what I'm saying? You like, you right. You enjoy being single, so so I was like, it's complicated, but she's she's a real sweet woman. You know what I'm saying? But I had a lot of sweet women in my life, and you know what I'm saying. I wanted to talk about it because I remember times that I always I was juggling and I always been juggling because I had this thing where it was like. I always want to have somebody else on the side and then just in case it was kind of like I guess you would say it was kind of like they didn't know it was to keep them in check but I knew it was keep them in check and keep me from getting hurt that down the line I kind of kind of knew it was just right just to be with one person and dealing with one person you don't necessarily got to be with that one person but as long as you dealing with that one person so then Excuse me, my allergies bad. We in Texas and uh, yeah, the weather's crazy. Anyway, so I remember. So I've been dealing with this woman for six years. So me and her would been up and down, but it was like I, I remember being with this one girl. I'm gonna say at the beginning of her her letter starts with T, and then now what I met. When I met Karen, because y'all know y'all know who she is, I was like, I was dealing, I was dealing with her. I thought she was real cool. It's just the thing about it was, you know, I wasn't sure about her. I wasn't sure if I was ready to. I guess you would say, hmm, I didn't believe that somebody actually really cared about me because I was the person always, always giving. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people out there that take, take, take. And I'm the person who give, give, give. And a lot of people who will receive but not want to give back. So then, I was dealing with this crazy chick that I that I was messing with. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to say that she was crazy. And one thing about crazy chicks, you have got the best, best kitty cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but after I get... I guess it's crazy. I, I don't know. I, I guess all the craziness just goes right there, and then men are attracted to it like it's like, like like it's drugs or something like that. So anyway, so I remember uh, <laughs> we've been through some wild stuff, man. So anyway, I remember when she was doing her hair, well, her daughter was doing her hair, and uh, <sighs> this chick was just like this, the crazy chick I was messing with. She was just like. She she was just like uh, she was knocking at the door. She was knocking hard. Oh my fault! I was trying to do that thing. She she was knocking at the she was knocking at the door, and then I remember when she told me she said, "If you open that door, you know what I'm saying? Don't open that door or something like that." Man, when you were a good woman, and you know what I'm saying, not to, I'm not to say that she's perfect, but when you were a woman to hold you down and you don't know about if she holds you down. If that gut feeling tells you, if the gut feeling tells you to 
not do what the dick is telling you to do, l listen to the woman right there. Because you know what I'm saying? That crazy bitch can be ruining your life. So then, so, um, <laughs> so I was just, so in my mind, she didn't know. In my mind, I was thinking like, man, I'm dealing with her. Oh, okay. The point was, is okay. Uh, how I say this? I got a little addiction to sex. I'm not gonna lie. I got a big addiction to sex. A, a, big, a big addiction to sex. It's like I said, I got a big dick to a, to a sex. <laughs> I got a big addiction to sex. Not only am I a Scorpio, I'm a man. And you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I got a high sex drive. So then, you know, the woman that you with, you know what I'm saying, can have everything except one thing that you're missing. And then that one thing you're missing can be like a tiebreaker, but you got to make that decision whether you want to let that one thing that she's lacking, you know, be a downfall for you guys not making it. And for me, for a long time, I made that mistake a lot of times for the coochie. So then... It was like, okay, she didn't, we didn't have it like all the time like that. But the crazy chick, she was just like, woo! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was, it was good. So then it's kind of like, you kind of like, mm, sounds pretty good, man. I can deal with the craziness. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's a lot of times I was into that situation with a lot of females like that, that I was just like, man, like, okay, this. This story is going like a whole different. I just, I just started to think about. I think I'm gonna name the story, "Crazy Pussy." You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like crazy pussy will make you do the most weirdest shit, the most weirdest shit. So then, so so then, okay. So, so then, she. So then, okay. So she was like, "Don't open the door." I was like. I'm gonna miss that pussy if I don't open that door. So and then she was like, I'm gonna leave. Karen tell me I'm gonna leave if you if you open the door. In my mind, I'm thinking, we don't have sex anyway. So I'm, I'm gonna have more sex over here. <laughs> so I opened the door. I had a dog at the time that I got for day one. She like kicked the dog when it came out because she was she thought it was uh, a Karen's dog. Anyway, so then she came out. She's like, we, you know, we, we go through this big old thing. You know how when two women see each other, they go, you know what I'm saying? They didn't fight nothing like that, but it was words being thrown back and forth many times, not just that day. So it was like, it was crazy. It, it was really crazy. That was one time, and then I was, and then, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't the, the, the last of it. I mean, it was like maybe three or four more like that. So then, so then that was one time I messed up. And then, um, it was up. so I started juggling both of them. You know what I'm saying? At the same time. It's not right. And young men out there, it's not right. Or older men, it's not even right to juggle two women at the same time because it is not right. Two wrongs, two females, it's like two wrongs don't make no right. It doesn't equal shit. You know what I'm saying? All it does is equal problems. I swear, I I felt like my money was going here, going there, trying to please them. I felt like my my heart was split in two. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm a consistent person. Like I, I got a little bit of OCD. I got a I got a big thing of OCD. So then it's just like I gotta be with one person, but I want that one person to give it to me all. But just like I said, you gotta be so. It was like a take and give type of thing. It was just like, I knew what she wasn't going to do. I knew what the wrong person was going to do. And I just kept on going forward. So then, it was, an, so then it, was another, it was another time because it's just like, I kept on saying I wasn't talking to the female. And then I ended up, kept on talking to the, the girl with the T in her name. And then all of a sudden, oh, I, okay. This is how craziness got into it. So then... I wouldn't leave the, the crazy one alone and been with the right woman because of that one thing, that one thing. 
So then, here was the night. Okay, this was the last night that I ever saw the crazy pussy. So then, so what happened was, she was talking about she was pregnant. And we got like a pregnancy test from like the dollar store and we got one from like the real store. I forgot which one said it, she was pregnant and I forgot which one said she wasn't pregnant. But I was, so then, I, I thought she was pregnant. I, I was kind of on the iffy of, I kind of believed it and I kind of didn't. So then, she came over and then the crazy one. And then she asked for some pizza. You know what I'm saying? She really didn't even treat, like, care treat about my daughter. Like, she really sweet, really nice. The crazy one was kind of like, she was like a Gemini. No offense to Geminis, but you guys have, like, mood swings. Like, mmm. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so then, so then, she was like real mean, like you know what I'm saying, when she used to be over all the time. But you know what I'm saying? I kept on, you know, it's wrong, but I kept my dick, kept on saying, this girl could stay around when my mind and my body and my heart was telling me, leave that fucking bitch alone. So then, so then, um, so, so then, uh, what happened? Okay, so let me get back to it. So she came over. This is after many times of juggling two women. So she was like, okay, so I want some pizza. And I was like, hold on a minute. For some reason, it kind of dawned on me. I was like, I got a light bulb on top of my head. And I was like, hold on, man, you ain't about to just start bossing me around talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want a pizza. All of a sudden, we start getting into it. I can't remember verbatim, like, how it all went. But then I remember that the police was called. Oh, Wait, she was leaving out my house, and then for some reason, this crazy bitch with the good pussy, you know what I'm saying, kicked a hole, kicked my glass in inside my door. I was in a one-bedroom apartment. I'm a single father. I have a daughter. She was leaving out. I guess she got, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but she kicked. Uh, uh, kicked my glass out in my house. All of a sudden, I'm like, no, you got to pay for that. You ain't leaving this house. You got to pay for that. I ain't going to put my hands on you, but you ain't leaving this house. She proceed on to call the cops, tell them I had a knife in my hands. Now, mind you, this was about 2019. This was about, this is two years ago. No, two or three, three years ago. And then she was like, this is like, maybe the day after in Dallas when a police got shot by a black guy or or something like that. It was, I forgot what day, what, what it was, but it, 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 but it happened. So she was like, he's holding a knife. I'm like, I'm not holding no knife and nothing like that. I'm trying to get, trying to think about what I was doing. Okay. So then I was the police. I was like, I don't care. Call the police. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got, I'm not got nothing on my record. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. So then not on some wood. So then, the, she called the police. I know that I'm believing that I know that I ain't doing nothing wrong, nothing like that. All of a sudden, I had my I got the phone in my hand. I'm like, yeah, I see the police coming. It was like they came to the door. It's my house. She kicked the hole in my window. So it's my house. Now it's this is this is be honest to God truth. It was about four white people, four, a white man, a, a, a white woman, and white men, and a Mexican man. It was like, seriously, it was like the whole color, the only thing they were missing is Chinese to make it a full race card. So, <laughs> but it was the one Negro, the one dumbass Negro. I had my hand like this. He gonna take my hand, twist it like this. He grabbed my phone like my damn phone was like a transformer, like it was about to change into a gun or something like that. He was like, oh, hold, hold on. I'm like, man, this is my house. He don't let this crazy bitch just be like all good and everything. I'm like, dude, this is my house. You know what I'm saying? This is me. I'm not holding no, no knife to the hand. Can't you see the glasses on the on the door? What am I do? Kick my own window, hold her hostage, and, and have her call you on the phone? Like, he wasn't using his head whatsoever. He just wanted to be the top Negro of the spot. And the other people were looking at him like he was stupid. So then he put me in hand because I'm in hand because... My daughter's playing GTA. <laughs> it was a, it was wild though. So then, 
so then he got me a hand because I'm sitting out there with the Hispanic dude. So then he cool as shit though. So I'm sitting there like this. I'm just like, dude, I don't know why he was like, can I get his hand? Because he's like, I, sir, I can't do it because I got to wait till he get done answering all these questions. They finally found out I ain't got, I'm not, I don't have nothing on my record. He was shocked to see that a black guy like me with the name Emilio, because people get, get that confused. Emilio? He's black? And he ain't got no record? What the hell is up? Yeah, you know how many times I, I got into that. So then he was like, okay, um, how about what that? Okay, so he was like, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, um, like, he came across, they let me out the handcuffs. He said, you want, he want, he said, you want to, um, press some charges. I'm like, at the time I was like, dude, I don't want to press no charges. I just want her to fix the window. He was like, well, I, and it was, and I, he was like, well, if you don't press no charges, you got, you got to pay for the window. So I was like, fuck, press the charges. <laughs> so, so then she went to jail. She was upset with me. Having her, I didn't hear from her for, for, um, for a while. You know what I'm saying? I was calling her, trying to talk to her or whatever, but I wasn't talking to her for the reason that I was going to talk to her for. I was talking to her because I was, like, hoping that we can have some more sex or something like, shit like this. But, um, but it was good. It lets you know that, you know what I'm saying, that God will close the door if you don't close the door. And the whole point of this story is to say that just because your dick is thinking about one thing and your heart and your mind is thinking about another thing and you're thinking about, you know, if you got most of everything sitting right here, if the woman's treating you good, if the woman she didn't treat your child good, if she's treating you good and she's she's being there for you, she's being your rock, she's being your supportive, support to, to her, she's she's holding you down, she's being there for you through thick and thin, and you got one person over here not doing a damn thing but giving you some good pussy, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole thing of you You got to learn to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes it's just, it's all about making the right decisions on who you're with. Don't ever go with just one person or deal with one thing because one thing is good. And you got somebody over here that ain't doing it, doing all, ain't doing one thing that you want, but she's doing everything that you ask for. You know what I'm saying? But she's doing the one thing because maybe some people just ain't like that. But the whole point of the story is don't subject yourself to somebody who's going to do less for you and this the person who's going to do way more for you than you ask for because make because that's just something it's something little that they can always change it's 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 weird that we as men think so much with our dick and we just be like man you know what i'm saying we deal with the craziness we deal with the wrong woman we deal with the woman who ain't gonna do right by our side and we push the the good woman to the side and and you know what i'm saying it was a lesson to learn you know what i'm saying that was just one incident it was uh it was many more incidents, but you know what? I learned, and you know what I'm saying? The storytelling, I wanted to go all day long, because I got psh, plenty of stories to hear about that. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? That was the whole thing of, of the storytelling about crazy pussy. So, um, if you want to hear some more about the crazy pussy stories, leave a comment below. Hit that bell. Give me those likes. Let's raise those likes up. Come on, keep keep on. I want to see you guys. I want to see so many views. Hit, you know what I'm saying? Notification, hit comments below. Tell me how you like my storytelling. Check out some more of my storytellings. And you know what I'm saying? This is EJ, you know. And keep on watching. Until then, I'm out. Who knows what I'm going to get into next. Out.